Hi again. This time with my mic on. Barry Chapel coming to you live from Primetime Shopping Network in Hollywood, California. Oh, I got a big show. I got gold coins that are very, very, very rare. I have Morgan dollars slabbed and graded. I never liked that term slabbed. It's like somebody's dead, you know? But they have been graded by PCGS. I have the amazing art of Mark Braver, a major Park West artist. I'm going to sell it. You're going to get a great deal. I got the last Schofield landscape. I got a lot of stuff. Got a Royo here. But Ashley, I need your permission for this. Because this next assignment, I need you to agree with this before I do it. Are you going to agree with this? This next assignment could very well, come on up here. If you agree, this next assignment could very well put your life in danger. Oh, yes, I, I agree. You agree? <laughs> yes. Okay. When you were a kid, are you sure? Yeah, this, I'm sure. this could put you in serious danger. I uncovered a 60 year old conspiracy that I'm going to tell people the truth on tonight. So you agree to take the risk. I take the risk. Say, I duly accept the risk. I duly accept the risk. Okay. <laughs> when you grew up, did you ever watch Green Acres? Yes. Green Acres. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. On Green Acres, you had Oliver Wendell Douglas, the guy that, the lawyer, and his wife, who was Zsa Zsa Gabor. Zsa Zsa, yeah. All right. The Ziffles had a pig. <laughs> you, do you remember that? Yes. All right. Arnold the pig. Arnold, yeah. And Arnold in Green Acres could talk. He'd move his lips and say things. Did you ever see that? You saw it? You saw it? This could put your life in danger, Ashley. After careful studying, and I've watched a ton of episodes, <laughs> I think Arnold the pig, all that's Hollywood. I don't think he can really talk. Uh -oh. Yes, they were pulling the, the, the covers over our eyes. Did, I mean, you saw Arnold the pig on Green Acres? <laughs> you can even sell it, sing it. Green Acres where the, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think Arnold was a fraud. I don't think he could really sing. Don't get too upset, and if you are, it's Ashley's fault. It's my fault. Yeah, she accepted all the liability for that. So folks, I have, I have Mark Braver. I have a very, very, very rare uh, 1914 S $20 St. Gaudens in, in MS64. And just so you know, compared to the most common year, the 1924, in 64, PCGS is only graded 6,907 PCGS MS64 1914 S's where they've graded 113,243 1924s. That's how rare it is. And there went my mic, but I'm still on the air. So, I don't know what to start with. The Braver? Oh, I'll tell you what. Can you show my PCGS 1914s with a mintage of a one million four hundred ninety-eight thousand. I think we have it here. There it is, the 1914s by PCGS. Coin dealer newsletter price, if I'm not mistaken, is thirty-eight hundred dollars. So list is thirty-eight hundred, but three thousand eight hundred. But watch this. I only have five, but someone already bought one, right? Or no? I Well, I can't sell them till right now. 
If you ever wanted a really rare San Francisco mint, the 1914S is one of the rare estates. When you start talking about St. Gaudens in the teens, they're, you know, some are easy, some are tough. But the 1914S, with a mintage of only 1.498 million, compared to the 1928, which is a great coin, but at 8.8 .8 million, I'll tell you what, it is only, uh, I'll tell you, I'm going to give someone a great deal. Please dial in quickly. $2,995. I only have five coins. $2,995. On the 1914S. That is beef tartare. That is so rare. The 1914 San Francisco Mint. There you go. It is, oh, just blazer. It's a, the, I picked all of these. They're hand-picked. They're beautiful. 1914 San Francisco Mint. Oh, look at that. We even have, yeah, there's the reverse. The sun is rising on the new nation. That was, uh, the, the original image was done by Augusta St. Gaudens. Unfortunately, when they started his production in 1907, he had passed away. And so, but he is one of the great designers of all coins. So at $2,995, I'm going to give that just a little bit of time because I got Morgan dollars, I got peas, I got everything tonight. But, and thank you for taking the bullet on that, Ashley. Because there's a lot of people, a lot of Green Acres fans, that when they find out Arnold the pig really couldn't talk, <laughs> you're going to be in big trouble, Ashley. That pig could not talk English. I mean, I eat a lot. Sometimes people call me pig, and I talk a little no, I don't think anybody calls you a pig, Ashley. Ashley says sometimes people call me a pig and I can still talk. So that is one of the deals of the night. But I also have some other cool work. I'm going to hold off on that for right now because that I only have five and I got a lot of people that as soon as dish starts. So let me take that down. Look on the easel. That is a Mark Braver. Mark Braver paints a lot of different sizes. But if you take a cruise and you see a Mark Braver, they're usually only 12 by 12. Some are 12 by 18. But to find a full size, one of a kind, original. This is a one of a kind original. Painted by Mark Braver, M. Braver, a top-notch Park West artist, on the cruise, according to my friend who is an auctioneer, this is BC2372. He says that they get 7500 When all said and done, you take a cruise, they give you a couple glasses of champagne, they uh, might even mix a Jimmy in there, and I don't know. What is that you used to take, Wilson, uh, you know, in liquid form? Did you find some way to turn uh, meth into a liquid to mix it into drinks? Yeah. No, I'm not going to bring it up. You did your time. It's all right. Uh, but anyway, they get active bidders at six and 7,000. I have five Mark Bravers. And he is top notch Park West. Yeah, list 7,500. That is what you're going to end up paying. Watch this. I am going to start any of the five Mark Bravers. And what I want to do is I want to show all five to them. Before I start auctioning these, Ashley. 
All right. So Ashley, you wanted me to hide the one with the little doggy. All right. So Ashley, can you grab this? Yes. And I was only speculating. You didn't tell me. She, Ashley's mad at me <laughs> because she keeps having nosebleeds. Oh. And, and, and she said, what could it be? And I said, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. It's been over three years since I ever spent a night in the Holiday Inn Express. So I don't know. I said, how often does it happen? She said she's had like five pretty recently. So I said, I don't know, see a doctor. But the only thing that comes to my mind is Ali McGraw in Love Story. Yeah. And she had leukemia. No, but you probably don't have leukemia. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't do this to anybody. I'm just saying that's the only thing I don't cause is no bleed. But what also causes nosebleeds is when my parents used to paint our house, that nose, that paint smell, I get nosebleeds all the time. Oh, you did spray paint. You did? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's probably what it is. <laughs> no, it is. It is. BC23, uh, BC2375. This is the Mark Braver 7500 list. But I'm not going to charge anywhere near that. There's the little doggy. Looks a little bit like Juliet's dog, except this is brown and Juliet's dog is white. And Juliet's dog is 16 years old, which is really old. What is 16 times 7? 16 times 7. 112. Your dog is 112 in human years. So remember this number. All right. This is number two. Ashley, can you hand me number three? All right. Here is number three right over here in the Christmas scene. BC two, three. You want to show it over here? Nah, let's. Throw it on the easel. You want to throw it on the easel? Don't yeah. knock that little. Don't knock that town down. <laughs> it's okay, it's my little town. Yeah, but it could be like Land of the Giants. <laughs> two three seven five. Two I gotta be careful about saying the word giant. I told a little kid that lives near me, uh, I showed him a picture of my daughter, Kate, who's six, three and a half. And I said, but she's friendly. She's a gentle giant. Says, the kid said, she's a giant. I said, yes, but a gentle giant. Now I'm in trouble with everybody. Except you, Allie. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, Look at this. This is a large size, as large as you can get a Mark Braver. Uh, you know, they're 7,500 when they get you liquored up on the cruise. All right, how many more do I have? That was number three. This is number four. Okay, and when you see what I am going to sell these for, you are not <coughs> going to believe it. I, have I shown that one yet? Oh, that next one is. They all are. But Wilson, follow the light, Wilson. Go towards the light, Wilson. Don't back away from the light, Wilson. You got to be careful. Whatever you do, don't diss the light. Okay. And let me show you the last Braver, Mark Braver. I'm ready. This is so cool. 
And yeah, his his technique is is a, a tad bit of pointillism, where he's tons of little dots. And this is on canvas. Yeah. All of them are on board, right? On canvas. But there's it's on canvas board. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. This is two, three, seven, four. Look at that pointillism at work. Major Park West artist, 7,500 on a cruise ship. Now I have these five. I have custom framed all of these. They're all in the same frame. Now, Ashley, could you hand me a pad, a little sticky pad and a pencil, pen, but this time hand it. Keyword is hand, not throw. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. You know, and I, I'm sorry I asked you to throw me the knife the other night. <laughs> it's healing slowly, but. And I got my doctor mad at me the other day, Wilson. Oh, my God, I had a doctor's visit the other day. I'm not joking. Um, once every two, three months, I get a shot of Depramedrol. It's not much. It's 40 milligrams. Okay. It really makes your knees and joints, because I have psoriatic arthritis, feel great. Oh, Christmas. So I tell my doctor's nurse, and that's, she, she ratted on me, Wilson. I went to the doctor's office to get my shot. I picked up my prescription. I have a 40 milligram vial. But Jamie, the nurse, was way too busy. And she was very kind about it. She says, look, I can't fit you in. You can come back tomorrow and get your shot. I said, let me think about it. And I drove home. And I realized at home, I had some syringes that had never been used, but they were for my dog, Ginger. They were 10 cc syringes. So I called an accountant friend of mine who was pre-med, decided to be a CPA. He's a great guy, been a great, great accountant all of his life. He said 10 cc is the same as 10 milligrams. So what I did was instead of giving myself, like Harrison Ford in The Fugitive, where you saw him, he stitched himself up in the hospital after the train wreck and then gave himself a shot, I ended up giving myself four 10 milligram shots in my butt. And the doctor kept saying, don't ever do that again. It's like, why? The biggest problem was not giving myself the shot in the butt. And I made sure there was no air bubbles in the syringe. It was Ginger. Every time I go like this, Ginger, jump on me. And it's like, all right, Ginger, I know this is your syringe, but I'm using it. But anyway, here's what I'm going to do. But it, it was easy. <laughs> She's being mean to me. Juliet, the one that dumped Romeo. <laughs> All right. I got a pad and paper. They want 7,500 at Park West. It's not going to be 75. It's not going to be 65. It's not going to be 5,500. It's not going to be 4,500. All right, we're getting low here. It's not even going to be 3,500. Ooh. Call this a Christmas gift. It's not even going to be 2,500. These are not hand embellished prints. These, each one is an original oil on canvas by legendary artist Mark Braver. It's not even going to be 2,500. Oh. Oh. It's not even going to be 2,000. Oh, boy. Tell me which one you want. I'm going to auction. Should I just auction them or just price them? 
auction them. 1500 to open. Pick which one you want. These are 7500 on a cruise ship. These are amazing pointillism on canvas. These are the large Mark Bravers. If you look at the uh, graphics, 31 framed by 39. Basically a 40 by 30 when it's framed. Original oil on canvas that people pay 7,500 for unframed on ships. And uh, most of the bravers you see are 12 by 12 or 12 by 18. So at $1,500 to open, let me know if you see one you like. I got Navarro's, I got Peter Max, I got Erte. Ashley, what was I selling these? Morgan dollars for last week. How much? And you let me do that? You had no choice. That's a cop out, isn't it, Wilson? Here's an 1884 O. I don't have many dates. It's an 85 oh, 81 S's. Here's what I am going to do. You want to teach your kids the value of money. I cannot ever say this enough I have two kids Ben and Kate Ben is 26 Kate is 21 she'll be 22 in May Kate is six three and a half Ben is a shy six feet but I used to take Ben to all my coin buys and coin shows and he ended up building an incredible collection of error coins. All right, I got the 87. I got four dates here. Any date you want of the four I have left. This is too cheap, Ashley. What are the item numbers on the Morgan dollars? All right, what's the item number on the 1881S? 2366. Two, six. Two, six, six. Folks, this is what we're talking about, Wilson. This coin right here. 2366. Six. 1881S. Retail 269 on another network. It's a competing network. You know what I'm talking about, Patty? Yep, I do. I heard from somebody the other day they're under investigation. Is that right? Eh, word spreads. Oh. Well, I'm not sure. I just heard it. <laughs> Ashley said it and I repeated it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> this is too cheap. $99. On 1881S's. What's the item number on 1887P's? 2370. 2370. $99. Yeah. What's the item number on the 1884O? And we say O, that means the coin was minted in New Orleans. How much? What number? 2368. 
If you look right above the D and O in dollar, you'll see a tiny little O that stand, no, it doesn't stand for, oh, it stands for New Orleans. And that's how you know that coin was minted. And for somehow that coin, even though it was minted in 1884 in New Orleans, it has stayed in such good condition, it grades Brilliant Uncirculated by PCGS. I also have the 1885 New Orleans. Look how clear you can see that O. What's the item number? 2369. Two, six, nine. Look at that. $99. Look at that. You see that little O, Wilson? How close can you come into that little O? You're in all the way, so if I go like that, does it mess with your eyes? Sorry. All right, uh, but Wilson, fortunately, they're encapsulated in plastic, so you cannot hurt them. They just pass the berry test. Wilson, you owe me. I got to be honest. I, I like you a lot. Ashley, yeah. <laughs> I don't like this stand. <laughs> Here, let's just go like this, Ashley. There, 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 and there. Wilson owes me, Ashley, because I had, did you see that review I gave to his parole officer? Was I, was I, could, you saw it, Juliet. Oh, I was telling him how great Wilson was. Any interest in Morgan Dollars MS63, which is brilliant uncirculated, meaning they, in all their existence, they were never put in, your, in a person's pocket. They remained in the canvas bag from the mint. And how they stayed in that pristine condition with 499 other Morgan Dollars in the bag thrown on a train, going over bumps, so few bag marks from other coins. $99. All right, folks. I have got to... Oh, I got. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I have two Navarros. Now, I don't know. Matt, do you see a Navarro docudrama? It's like eight or nine or ten minutes about the amazing work of Jean-Claude Navarro. Jean-Claude Navarro was one of the greatest glassmakers that ever lived. He died in 2014, December 2014.
Folks, I'm talking about this guy right here. Uh, Wilson, I'm talking about this guy right here, Jean-Claude Navarro. He won the highest honor the French government could ever give. Uh, the Medal of, uh, I'm trying to think, Ch Chevalier something. He was a world-class glassmaker. One of his best friends was the Kraft family. That's why if you go to the New England Patriots Hall of Fame room, you'll see a glass Tom Brady made by Navarro. He is also one of the all-time greats because he put fluorescence in glass. He made glass glow at night. And he told me, Barry, people have been making glass for 5,000 years. I'm the first one to make it glow in the dark. And he told me it took him four or five years. And one morning he got up. Yeah, there's Jean Claude Navarro. Take a look at Jean Claude, Jean Claude Navarro. Hello, my name is Jean-Claude Novaro. I am an artist glassblower. I've been doing this work since the age of 14. I live in France, on the French Riviera. I live in a small village called Biot, near Antibes, which is a very beautiful town. I was born in Biot, and I have a lot of friends in Biot. My life is my family, my friends, <laughs> my work, and the animals. I love animals. I've been making glass for 48 years with passion and with love. I discovered this craft when I was very young. I discovered it and it was so magical that it has become my life. It's my pleasure. I get as much pleasure from it today as I did 48 years ago and I'm very happy to do this craft. When I started to make glass, I was very young, I just turned 14, and there was a glass factory in Biot, and I used to go play in the glass factory, and I liked it so much that I got myself hired. I started to make goblets, stemware, carafes, and it so happened that I was very talented at this craft, and then I was on my way. After 20 years, I added colors, did a lot of research. And then I set myself up on my own. And it wasn't going well. But I wanted it to, so I searched, I searched. And then one day there was a click, and it started to work. And it worked, and it worked. I was overwhelmed by by that, that it was so popular, all the galleries, in Paris, in France. People really liked it a lot, a lot, a lot. And that was such a good feeling because thanks to that I can continue to do a lot of research. I've never opened a book about anyone, the great glassblowers. I never opened one book. It's not interesting to me. Everything I do comes out of my mind, out of my research. It's my life. But I'm surprised and, and very happy that what I do is appreciated, and I'm very, very happy.
What is art? You like it or you don't. There's no accounting for taste. Everybody has their own opinion. But what I love in art, it has to be made with your hands. Painting, pottery, ironwork, bronze, all that for me is art. I like art that is made by hand. When you sweat and then later it can take any form you like. Each artist does what he wants, has his own imagination, but art, it's in the hands. It's in the heart, and then later it's in the eyes, and then people like it or not, that's art. Personally, I think that if we don't preserve the work of the hands, the traditions, there's nothing left. Life, what is life? We breathe, we drink, we hear, we sleep. But I think that we must preserve the hands' work, working the soil, the masons' work, the painters' work, manual work. It must be preserved. It's very important. That's what life is. It's simple, not complicated, and I think that it's good. When I'm making a piece, I'm always at my maximum state of being. I feel like I'm relaxed, but I'm tense and very focused. Because it's not easy to blow and give life to a piece, to give it shape. And I'm always at my maximum when I'm making a piece, from the beginning to the end of the piece. I love, I just love to live. I love to make a living through my work because every day when I go in front of my oven, I'm very, very happy to feel the heat from the oven, to feel the noise, to apply the colors, take a little bit of glass to start to blow, to work it, to blow, to sweat. It's hot. Between the glass and me, it's a game because I always want to make pieces that have never been done anywhere in the world. In other words, every time I develop new techniques, color techniques, that have never been done before, and I'm the one who invented them, and it's a game, and I want it to work because sometimes it breaks and sometimes it doesn't work. It's a struggle between the glass and me to find the technique, why it's breaking, and to discover how it won't break. And after seven to eight years, I managed to develop this technique. It's a give and take between the glass and me constantly. And when the piece is done, I put it in the oven. For me, it's a new baby about to be born when it will come out of the oven. Good. So when I have an idea for a piece, the idea is in my head. And before I make the piece, it's in my head for a month, two months, three months, four months, five months, sometimes a year, sometimes two, sometimes less, sometimes more. And when I'm ready to make this piece in my head, then I make the piece. Gradually, as I'm making the work, I see the reaction of everything I put into it, colors, gold leaf, and all the rest, and then based on that, I make my piece. Once the piece is done, I put it in the oven to anneal for 15, 16, 18 hours. And when the piece comes out, then I look at it and I say to myself, that's okay, that's not so good, that's good, that's not good. And for me, then the piece is made and at that point I start to make a new collection. But it takes two or three years before I make the piece. When I was developing the fluorescent pieces, I gave it 10 years of my life before it worked. 10 years of my life, that's huge. When I developed the gold technique so that it wouldn't melt inside the glass, it took me five years, it took six years of my life. And every time I develop a new technique, it, it spends years in my head. It's there, it's waiting. I do it, I don't do it. I don't know, it's passion, it's passion. I've been doing this work for 48 years. I haven't seen the time go by, and I feel like I started making glass yesterday. It's so exciting to do.
pense toujours à mon travail. I think about my work all the time, all the time. I think that I wouldn't be able to make the pieces I do if I didn't think about it constantly. And I still enjoy working as much as I did 20 years ago. And I think that I'll still enjoy doing what I do in 10 years, even if I'm 10 years older, because it's a wonderful career I've had. That I've been fortunate enough to learn, sure, but more than anything, fortunate that I like it, and fortunate it's successful. Because there's lots of people who love their jobs, but they live hand to mouth. Whereas I've had the good fortune that people like it, and I'm very happy, and thanks to that, I can continue till the end. It's my life, it's my passion, and thank you to all of you who buy my pieces. That was Jean-Claude Navarro, amazing guy, died December 30th, um, 2014. Here's a picture of Jean-Claude with his little son. My kids nicknamed him WWF Joseph because even though Ben and Katie were older than um, Joseph, uh, he would run and tackle him, whatever he saw. Him. And, but he died December 30th, 2014. I just want to show you something. Here was his funeral. They, it was so crowded the streets of Boyette, 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 Boyette in France. So many people. The actor John Renew was a great friend of his. They made glass together. This is as rare as it gets, the fluorescence. I wish I had more. I only have one. Yes. I only have one. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. So, this is what he will always be remembered for. And in his own words, they've been making glass for 5,000 years. I'm the first person to make it glow at night. And to be able to do that at 2,200 degrees without burning the fluorescence, that is amazing. Here is Robert De Niro with Jean-Claude. Robert De Niro, Jean-Claude, Jean-Claude's daughter from his first marriage And the blonde cut out at the end is his lovely wife, wife Virginie. And everybody would stop by and see him. A lot of glassmakers die of kidney disease because they're drinking water all day long. That glass is 2,200 degrees. And I even got to make some glass with Jean-Claude Navarro, Beoit. And he was explaining how you do it. And it was hot. I mean, you stand over that, uh, that glass It's hot. So here was my attempt. And about 12 seconds into it, it got all messed up and Jean-Claude took my cane, took what was in the end of it and stuck it in a barrel of, in a bucket of water because it was no good. When you came 
to uh, Cannes in France, there was a huge Gallery Navarro there. The one next to my finger is known as a landscape. Jean-Claude figured out how to put real gold in glass and make it suspend where he puts it. He talked a lot when I was with him about Robert Kraft. He said, Robert Kraft is my brother. He even flew to New England, the stadium in New England, the New England Patriots, which Robert Kraft owns, and shows Jean-Claude around. In the Patriots room, there are several sculptures of different players, all made by Jean-Claude Navarro. Here is, at the time, Jean-Claude Navarro standing next to three Super Bowl trophies. Now, I only have two pieces of Navarro glass. And this ad used to run, you would find this all throughout France, illuminate your style, Navarro, because he was the first one to ever do it. Now this is a landscape where he puts gold in the glass. It's beautiful. And this right here is a fluorescence. Can you kill these lights? Yeah, show them that. Show them Ashley's. <laughs> or we could kill the lights, whatever you want to do. Let's see how it looks when we kill the lights, because I got a funny feeling. Matt, you want to turn off the lights? I don't think Matt's in there. Yeah, he is. Wilson will turn off the lights. All right. I believe this is going to glow very well. And the, ah, there we go. Oh, there's so much light coming. Oh, that light's still on. Hang on, let's turn this light off. Oh, we got all oh, the lights behind. All right, let's show them a picture of it because you were right, Ashley. Let's turn the lights back out and we'll show you what it looks like and what it looks like in the box when we took the picture. All right. Yeah, here, show them what it looks like. That's what it looks like. You charge it up in sunlight and it, it will glow for four or five hours, a lot of times even longer. Now you did it. There you go. That is what I am about to sell you. I only have these two. Unfortunately, that's beautiful. It's 15 inches high, too. At the last moment, after Jean-Claude Navarro died, Jean-Claude Navarro's daughter from his first marriage 
got into a, how's a nice way of putting it, legal ramifications with Jean-Claude Navarro's second wife, Virginie. And it's tied up any sales. I mean, and people are speculating how much money the remaining Navarro's will bring, but they can't get it out of French court. So, Ashley, what is the item number on the glow in the dark? There it is. Retail for one this size. He died in 2014. It's around 19 to 22,000. It's signed on the bottom and dated. He signs his name with a scribe. Then he dates it and he spells his name. All on the bottom of this. And I am curious, Ashley, what year did Jean-Claude Navarro make this one? Ugh. Can, can you lift the bottom of this without breaking it? Oh, beautiful signature. Jean-Claude Navarro, 2007. Yeah, he writes it, he signs it. That's 19,000 any day of the week. That's the date, 2007. Oh, you got to get its glare, a little bit of glare. Now they can see the 2007. What's that? Oh. Yeah. So, here's what I'm going to do. Only fluorescent I've got, the only fluorescent I've come across in over a year. They're going for insane money. Um, 19, 20,000 is what they're going for. This one blue and it glows uh, in the picture. What okay, gl glows green, right? It's just unbelievable. Um, I'll tell you what, on the fluorescent, 3,500 to open. $200 increments if when and if we get an open that is the last fluorescent the first one I've had in forever we have Navarro's agent in the United States who introduced me to Navarro has been calling Virginie and trying to get but like I said when it's tied up in a French court, oh, 3,500 to open on that. And Ashley, what is the item number on the gold in the glass? On the gold in the glass? This one, the landscape. The landscape is 2365. 2365. And yeah, these, I got comps from right here in my Navarro folder. These were 5,500 no matter what you did. I mean, the John Claude Navarro. I'll tell you what I can do on that. 1400 to open on a mouth blown, hand spun, hand signed 
with gold in the glass and he did this in 2005. Now, gold melts lower than 2200 degrees. So to get the gold to be suspended where he wants it is not easy. And look at that, it is absolutely beautiful. So I have these two Navarros and I hope you're out there Make great Christmas gifts. Don't know if I can get them to you by Christmas. Wilson, you're pretty skinny nowadays. Yeah. Boy, that clinic did great work on you, Wilson. Did you think, seriously, Matt, did you think he'd lose that much weight in rehab? You did? You knew he'd lose that much weight? Well, uh, Wilson wasn't in rehab. He was in jail. <laughs> but no, uh, no, Wilson. I, I got because I don't want to get Wilson mad. And Patty, you heard him tell the story. To hear Wilson tell the story, those two people were dead before he even opened the door, which worked in court. But anyway, call me on the Navarros because I got a lot of other art and coins I'm going to be getting to. I'm waiting here about three minutes for Dish Network to join in. I have two Peter Maxes. I got a few Tarkai silk screens. Got some Azule. Got an Erte. Got all kinds of great stuff. Now, Wilson, what would you do? And Juliet, what would you do if you came home, saw this on your bed next to the remote? That's Ginger, my rescued hound dog. And Ginger expects belly rubs. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. And the funny thing is, she gets so comfortable when I say, okay, Ginger, off or move over. It's like, what? But she has been something because she was a rescue and she's been the scaredest dog I have ever seen. I have never had a dog this scared of people and animal and other dogs. Now she goes to the dog park, except for tonight, only once today, but usually two times. It's a big cage dog park where she can play with her friends and that's really saved her. It's people that scare her, but because they all come up to her and go, hi. Hey. And the trick with Ginger is don't say anything. Just look at her and walk away. You ignore her for three, four minutes, she'll come over to you. Which one can I help them with? I have the two Navarros, I have the Bravers. Hello, Dish Network. Barry Chapel coming to you live from Hollywood, California, home of Primetime Shopping Network. I have some really rare $20 St. Gaudens tonight. I have incredible original, large originals. 
by Park West artist Mark Braver. I have the last two Navarros on this planet. This is a fluorescent uh, that most places is at least 19,000, some 22, 24,000. We have pictures of it glowing. This is a landscape. I also have two Peter Max Arroyo and a very rare coin, the 1914 S and 6.4. Got it all. Who are you talking to, Ashley? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Tell you what I can do. Here's what I'm going to do. Yes. Hmm. Here is exactly what I am going to do. And I'm going to move the Navars out of the way. And I am going to show you this. Ashley, yep, can you take that Mark Braver down? Yes, Here is a very rare Royal. Very it's a rare Royal. Really rare it's a ravishingly, <laughs> it's rare, it's a ravishing Royal. Gorgeous. I would be remiss. If I didn't mention that this Jose Royo, they he only made a museum board six of them. H. C. Hoss de Commerce, friend of the artist. This is number two of six. He hand pastelled all of this on the piece. A 2005 comp, the last time I ever had this piece, Royals were selling for the panel edition, which this is, not the paper, were 4500 But this one has been so hand embellished in chalk on top of the serigraph, it is amazing. This is BC 2350, one of the only Royos I have left. Stunning. $4,500 17 years ago. And of this edition, a hand embellished, he only did six. This is number two of six. At the time, galleries were getting 10, 12 grand for it, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Ashley, that is stunning. Uh, can I ask you a question? Why are you spraying Juliet with Lysol? It's Kiki. She sprayed Kiki with Lysol. She has what? Oh. I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> Can't repeat that. But fortunately, Kinky is protecting and taking care of her little berry. Me too. <laughs> you taking care of? Yes. Yeah, this is upwards of 8,500 if you can find one. I'll tell you what I'll do. That is a beautiful, completely hand embellished. He only did this on six pieces. Friend of the artist to six big collectors. This is number two of six. If you're out there and you like Jose Royo, who is a master artist from Italy, I'll tell you what, from Spain, my bad. 
Tell you what I can do on this. Oh, this is too cheap. Let's see if anybody's watching. I know it says. Uh, I know it says 1900. No, don't take anything less on the notes. Watch this. 1100 to open $100 increments. And you have one of only six that Jose Royo at one of his huge shows in front of everybody hand embellished it. And he wrote HC, friend of the artist, number two of only six. That's too cheap. Look at that. All right. Folks, camera two. For my coin collectors, I only have five of these coins. It is rare. I have procured. Can you spell procured, Ashley? Without looking at the phone, how do you spell it? But I'm going to, yeah, she's doing that because she can't spell. Can, can you spell pro, pro, procured? Yes. Stop. All right. All right. No, you got, uh, I'll tell you what I can do. What did I have that up for to open? Because I don't have much room in it. That is an amazing Navarro. It's tw yeah. I'll t uh, so who are you talking with, Ashley? For Mr. W, I'll do you what? I will give you uh, a Christmas gift. Come early, take a look at that. He wants to glow in the dark, right? Yeah, we had up at 3,200, which is 3,500 to open. I'll tell you what. You can't repeat that to anybody. No, I turned my mic off. Unlike you that told everybody on live TV that Arnold the pig that belonged to the Ziffles on Green Acres was all smoke and mirror and didn't really talk. What does he say? Because that's a heck of a deal. And it's huge, too. And Ashley, could you show him a picture of what it looks like when it's uh, glowing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, take a look at this. What it looks like. This is what it looks like when it's glowing. Isn't that amazing? And it's large. Large and in charge? Well, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you get away with that one. Thank you. Very much. You don't want to get away with much. No. <laughs> and maybe, just maybe, you can find a way to procure me another one of those chocolate chip cookies you made. P-R-O-C-U-R-E-D. <laughs> I don't know. I was never any good at spelling. I got kicked out of my sixth grade spelling B. Wilson. I had made a couple words correctly and then they asked me to spell secretary. I had no idea how to spell secretary. So I looked like I was pondering it, like I had it. 
and I said secretary. S E C Retari. I said, get him out of here. What? Oh, my cookie. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. What does Mr. W say? Because I just gave him one heck of a price. And now, I want to go, if we can, to the 1914S and MS64. We're going to put it up on the screen. I only have five of these. They are PCGS graded. Uh, 3800 I think it's coin dealer newsletter price. <coughs> and 6.4. Just so you get an idea, when you go to PCGS's population report, only 6% of the population for the most... Uh, um, this is only 6% compared to the most common 1924. The 1924S, they have graded 113,243 in MS64. The 1914S, they've only graded 6,907. It is as rare, it's a rare coin. And we were looking at ads, I saw people that wanted 38, 42, one guy that was talking about ship you ship it to you quick for forty four fifty nine. I said, watch this. I only have five. This is too cheap. If you ever wanted a rare coin in the teens, the fourteen S, two thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars. They are beautiful. They are MS six four. 1914s. You can see the S right near the date and that was minted in San Francisco. Only have five of these. Make that four now. This is a really good chocolate chip cookie you made. Is there anything in this besides in chocolate? Hour, <laughs> in a half an hour. Uh, Only have four left. This is rare. One, one gone, another one gone. All right, and let's show them the front because this is a rare. Well, of course I'll say thank you to Gary, because Gary is a lot like Barry. Barry and Gary, wow. yeah. Oh, and then we can also throw in a Larry. Oh, Larry. Barry, Gary, Larry, and we can also throw in Carrie. I had a friend named Carrie Nod. <laughs> no. All right, so I am down, two gone. I have three left. Now, when you're talking about a coin that they only minted 1498000 dollars where, you know, they minted 8.8 .8 million of the 1928, which is still rare in higher grades. But, you know, 
only 6% of the coins, um, when you look at the PCGS population report, only 6% of the population of the most common is equal to this. In other words, 113,243 of the 1924S compared to 6,907 of the 1914S. I think we're working on another one. I only had five, four, three now. It's a stunning coin. I had to fight to get these. Are you selling one right now, Ashley? I'll tell Melvin this is a must have. And that we were talking to some people. Um, we thought I might want to buy all five. And I told the operators, no, 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 no. I'd like to get this to five different customers. We already got two. Melvin, this is a must. What's the bottom of the smaller in the bottle? Uh, Watch this, Patty. All right. That's a beautiful, that's gold in glass on the smaller. Yeah, Patty, a nurse ratted me out to my doctor. How? Well, every six, eight weeks, every three months or so, I get a shot of Depramedrol. It's a steroid that makes your knees and your joints feel great because I have psoriatic arthritis. Well, I went into the office to get my shot. I was carrying the vial of 40 milligrams of Depramedrol. But Jamie, the nurse, was so busy. It wasn't her fault. She was busy. And I said, Jamie, can you hand me a syringe? And I'll just take this in my house. She goes, oh, you kidding me? I'll get fired. And I said, okay. Are you sure? She said, no, I can't. I would lose my job. She says, call, call, come back tomorrow. And we'll get you in. I got home, and my knees were hurting a little bit. And I figured, why? And I had seen... Harrison Ford in The Fugitive, stitch himself up and give him a shot in the butt of antibiotics. But I couldn't find a syringe. But I had five unused 10 cc syringes that I was supposed to give ginger shots with, but I never used them. They were unopened. And I called my friend who's an accountant but he was pre-med at one time. He says, yeah, 10 cc is the same as 10 milligrams. So I ended up giving myself four shots in the butt. And all of a sudden, the doctor freaked out. Why? There was no air bubbles in them. <laughs> hey, did you ever see The Fugitive? No, oh, he's uh, Harrison Ford stitched himself up. Then he gets done. He goes like this with the with the syringe, and then he jabs it in there, and he was on the run. Yes, what is your question? So close on this. I mean, if there's no air bubbles, Wilson, let me ask you, camera two for whatever camera Wilson's got. Wilson, you got me on camera. Let me ask you. You know about these things, Wilson, in and out of rehab. You used to trip out on acid when you were a teenager. 
What is the harm if you know there's no bubbles in it and you know it's prescription and you do it and you just go like that? Nothing, right? My biggest problem was when I bend down to do this, my dog Ginger would come and start licking my face. But I got it four shots. They're just scared. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So is that gone, one of them? And so if he takes it, that will be three gone, two left on the 14S. And here's what I, nobody wants this. That's okay. Here, yeah, take it down. Now, Ashley, of all of the Mark Bravers, what is your favorite Mark Braver? Can you put that on the easel? This is Ashley's favorite Mark Braver. This is pointillism. Mark Braver is a Park West artist. If you ever take a cruise, a uh, Park West cruise, Park West at sea, look at that. It is stunning. What he does is he paints a ton of little points, but it's oil on canvas. Most Mark Bravers see advertised. All right. So I am down to what now? One, two, three. I got one or two left now, right? Yeah. Running out of coins. Thank you. And that was Mr. S? Thank you, Mr. S. Most Mark Bravers are 12 by 12. Some that are a lot more are 12 by 18. This is a full size 30 by 40 once it's framed. Oil on canvas done by Mark Braver. M. Braver. If you take a cruise unframed, they're not gonna let it go for less than 7,500. I got a friend that works on a cruise ship. I haven't talked to him lately. But they're 7,500. That is gorgeous. 1500 to open, $100 increments once we get the open. Tamara said that she loves Ginger and he would take a white and black photo of her and frame it. She would buy it off of you. Who said that? Tamara. I will do that. She wants a black and white? Wow, picture of Ginger and she said she'd buy it off of you. I will do that, Tamara. She is a cute dog. I've never had a dog this scared, but uh, she's coming along. I mean, she's not scared of people that don't rush at her. If they just ignore her for four or five, ten minutes, and then slowly pet her, the dog will get used to you. And I'll tell you, Wilson, this is how you know a tan and black coonhound dog trusts you. I'm one of the few people that know this. When they really trust you, when you're not looking, they sneak up behind you and lick the back of your ankle. That is how they show trust. Yes. So, who's going to open this at 1500 That is a heck of a price. And what did the doctor say about the Navarro? Mr. W. Mr. W. Uh, he hasn't responded yet. He's still responding. So he's, he's not interested. Well, he's what? He's still responding. He just hasn't responded So he could be in surgery right now. But that's Mr. Doc, Dr. S got the point. Okay. Mr. W is on Is Mr. W a doctor? Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, Ashley. Let's put up. I'm going to let this next piece go. 
Way too cheap, the Airte. Now this next piece is one of the most famous costume designers that ever lived and breathed. He died at 98 years old. His name was Roman de Tatoff. He came from uh, Belarus and then different parts of Russia, immigrated to France. And from France, he immigrated to the United States. Erte is what he settled his name on. Nobody could really pronounce Roman de Tertov. And he became one of the world's greatest costume designers of all time. I have some of the uh, pictures of some of the actresses in the 1920s and 30s that he designed costumes for. He was Art Deco. When they talk about Art Deco artist, it always starts. They quickly mention Erte, Roman de Tertov. And just so you get an idea, this is a signed and numbered edition of 300, and this is called the Bell of the Ball. No, at the ball. If you had an original Erte, you know, Paris Knights, an original painting, that uh, asking price was reduced to 156300 from 225000 That's a 2008 comp. I had one of the three of the Esmeralda suite. I sold it a while ago on a different network. And, you know, look at that. They wanted 118000 for all three. I had one of the three. It was what they call a gauche, heavy watercolor. Here is an Airte silkscreen. The retail, same size, same edition, 15000 on eBay seven years ago for fringe gown. So, folks, here's what I want to do. Most of these now in 2022, you know, and uh, in Los Angeles, there is the Erte Museum. Have you ever gone to it, Ashley? Uh, nope. You should take a look. Uh, Roman de Teradoff, otherwise known as the Erte Museum. Uh, years ago, that's where I would buy the originals. I would get a lot when they had a bad three month period, need to raise some money. I would try and buy some of their uh, Gauch Originals at steep discounts. But something like this, it, its retail is $18,000. Tell you what I'll do. Oh, I'm going to make someone so happy. It's the only Erte I have. But $18,000. It's the only Erte. And I'll tell you what. I want to see who's still watching me. I haven't had time to lose anybody yet. I'm on dish. That's a beauty, too. Start at zero, $250 increments. I just want to see if anybody's watching me, Patty. Wow. And... You know, there's a, we go out on dish, 
And you can think the people at space stations could be watching us, Wilson. He said what? I yeah, no, I yeah, Chopper, there's a difference between a dog who is finally feeling secure licking the back of your ankle and Chopper lipping the back of women's ankles. You gotta be careful doing that, Chopper. What do you mean? You do it too, Wilson? Oh, only if you can get away with it. My goodness. We have 250. We have 250. 500 has been bid. We're at 500. This is a $16,000 air tay. 750 has been bid. It's a beauty too. It's framed nicely. It's 750. So Chopper has been caught licking women's ankles. Did they know he was licking their ankles? It's nothing but trust. I get it. What's that? One thousand. What a thousand? Well, Chopper, I agree with you. It's nothing but trust. But, but uh, if as long as they, uh, yeah, Chopper. Hey, you and Wilson, you guys should team up. I'm down to one bidder. One thousand dollars, way cheap, going once. One thousand dollars, going way cheap twice. Fair and final warning, all in, all said, sold. Thank you. Now. <laughs> Wilson or Ashley, I have one original Schofield. He's retired. He even made us tape when he said, I'm retired. I have one and only one original. It's uh, a landscape that we had put. It's the only Schofield landscape. Every single one is sold. This is the last Schofield landscape I have taken from memories uh, of a, uh, a fence in Franklin County, in Franklin, Tennessee, a favorite memory. <clears throat> this is the Michael Schofield. Here's what he wrote on the back in case. And he quit. I mean, Michael Schofield is 74. He is uh, retired. He even made us tape it when he came on the last time. He said, Matt, tape this. Because I, I don't want Barry saying I, I don't help him anymore. He said, Barry, we've been working together for 25 years plus. This is my last show. I've always been grateful. So signed on the back. Let's see if he signed it on the front, too. Yes, he did. Right there. Signed on the front and back. $25,000 retail. Michael Schofield is in the, uh, is in the billion dollar Arm & Hammer collection. Oh, this is... Do we have the item number on this? Because it's Ashley is getting it. So let me just ask you, Kiki. What? In the last week, Kiki, has anybody tried to harm little Barry? No. No. Little Barry's safe with you. Yes. All right. 
now, Michael Schofield's in the billion dollar Arm & Hammer collection. He's set records on Hubs Historical in the late 90s, selling paintings for 30 and 40,000 on the internet. Michael Schofield has been auctioned in many places. He even, his abstracts are taking off for him and he wants to spend uh, his remaining time painting abstracts. This is the only, only traditional landscape style. Yeah, 25 grand and he gets it in a second, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, I wanna get some of that glare off the painting. I can move it, oh, look like that. See, Wilson, I did that. <laughs> Here's what I can do. I'm thinking five, four, 3,200, 2,800 to open on the last and only traditional landscape by Michael Schofield. It is stunning. It is rich in color. Every different tones of orange, tangerine, autumn oranges, and he just, Look at the reflections, stunning. The last Schofield I have on this planet. So I am only down, I'm down to my last two 1914 S's. I know someone else is gonna buy one. I am going. Oh, that's a beautiful Peter Max. All right, no open on the only Schofield landscape I have. I'm going to take that down and ooh. Mm. Tell you what. No. That's a negative. I gotta be so careful or Mac gets mad at me if I touch the back. Here we go. This is what Peter Max, who's 84, is most remembered by. Peter Max, uh, is one of the world's greatest pop artists of all time. Peter Max in the late 70s was depressed because from his Manhattan office and gallery, the Statue of Liberty had been closed for many years. You couldn't go and visit it and walk through it because it needed a tremendous amount of repair. Peter Max was watching a Chrysler commercial with, at the time, the owner, Lee Iacocca. Lee Iacocca knew Peter Max, and Peter Max knew Lee Iacocca, so Peter Max picked up the phone and called Lee Iacocca, and he said, this is sad that here in America, you can't even visit the Statue of Liberty. It, it needs repair, New York needs repair, and Lee Iacocca and Peter Max raised $300 million to reopen the Statue of Liberty. And they did it. Late 79, early 1980, 
They had a big celebration at the Statue of Liberty in 82. Nancy Reagan invited Peter Max to the White House where they painted picture, pieces of the Statue of Liberty or paintings of the Statue of Liberty on the White House yard. Now, a Peter Max like this is 35 to 40,000. That is hand embellished by Peter Max. It is what they call a unique original, a one of a kind. This was for sale. It's called God Bless America. And it was on the Southern Sovereign Collection of one of Park West's ships. Yeah. Uh, and the item number on this, Ashley, is... It's not on the back. I am positive. It's called God Bless America. It was on the the boat named the Sovereign on 7-11-2003. What is it? 23-20. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. And you see, it's unique original. All of that acrylic was put on by Peter Max. And then he signs his name in multicolor right down there. It's funny because Peter Max suffered from early onset dementia, but he's received amazing treatment for it. And his second wife put him under, what was that that Britney Spears finally got out of? Conservatorship. Conservatorship. And Peter Mack's daughter, Libra, has led a fight, and you can go to Free Peter Max where Peter Max makes a lot of videos for his daughter showing, look, I'm fine, I'm perfect. But he finally has gotten some control over his art and his life back. That's why when you see pieces like this, they're 30,000 plus. I'll tell you what I'm going to do on this. This is stunning. Statue of Liberty, you know, uh, God bless America. That's a tough one to get. Hey, Ashley. this cheap it's going to be my Santa Claus present to you yes have you ever gone down a chimney Patty no. good don't you could get stuck in one of those do I know it's 30,000 I'm not going to charge you 30 I'm not going to charge you 20 I'm not going to charge you 15,000 that's a unique original Peter Max it's an original unique original God bless America signed by Peter Max it's not going to be 20,000 it's not going to be 15. It's not even going to be 10, 9, 8. I'm going to give someone a deal of a lifetime. $4,000 to open. $200 increments once we get it. And the funny thing is, Peter Max will be remembered for a lot of things. But he will probably, 50 years from now, be best known for having the chutzpah to get everybody together to refurnish the Statue of Liberty. And, you know, that's like Jean-Claude Navarro. A thousand years from now, he'll be famous for making glass glow at night. He'll always be famous for that. This is quite the Peter Max. 
and 4,000 to open. Now, what I am going to do, I have one other Peter Max. Where? It has 12 Statues of Liberty on it. And this is BC 2317. Look at that. This was Liberty and Justice. It was another Peter Max on the Sovereign ship and it, on 7-11-03. Yeah, look, I got a Peter Max folder here. I can show you on Angel with Heart, my favorite image of his, where they were fifty and sixty thousand dollars for a unique, one of a kind, unique original. 12 Statues of Liberty. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. And look at that perfect signature of Max. You get Max certs. You get everything you need with this. Tell you what. I can't do it, but I will. 4000 to open. $250 increments. Well, say what? Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Camera, your camera, Wilson. Sydney, I am so sorry to hear that no news. And if there's anything we can do for you, uh, you know, that is just so sad, and just anything you ever need, you call us. Uh, you had a great husband, and I was so sad to hear that. So, anything you need through Ashley or me, count on it, it's yours. All right, and I'm thank you. Say what now? Let me see the guy's name or lady's name. Carmack. Carmack. Ah, uh, it rings a bell, but let me go research it and I'll see what I can do. Oh, let's take this down. Nobody wants Peter Max. I got the last Marcel Mooley over there. Who, without Marcel Mooley, you would not have had Cubism the way it turned out. He was one of the early founders of Cubism with Picasso. I have a picture of Picasso and Mooley and the other early founders of Cubism. What I like about Marcel Mouly, he added the color to the Cubist movement. And his use of colors made it what it is. Let me see if this is my Marcel Mouly. No, it's my Steve Kaufman folder. 
Hang on. I'm here. Mooley. Marcel Mooley, born in 1918 in Paris. He died, I think, 2003. I had some originals, and I wish I had hung on to them. They're going ballistic. But, <laughs> Ashley, you got to stop leaving your nicotine gum on top of my paperwork. It gets stuck. Oh, man. <laughs> it's Ashley. Now, there is a picture of the early, early Cubists. The guy in the back is Pablo Picasso. The guy to the side right there is Marcel Mouly. And there is a list. If you look a little lower of all the different early Cubists. Marcel Mouly, I firmly believe with his ability to add color to Cubism that made sense, really made it grow. This is Marcel Mouly. Look how small this edition is. Number 50 of 390 and I just want to show you here, here is a similar piece. This is, uh, what is the name of this one? Uh, uh, 2307. What's it say on the graphics there? What's that? Oh, Still Life with Woman, yeah. And this was Marcel Mouly. When you see... And this is a comp from 2013. Uh, nine years later, they're way up. But even then, they wanted 8,700 on anything Mooley signed and numbered. And I'll tell you what I can do on this. This is a cool Mooley, too. It's the last Mooley I have. See, yeah, hang on, because I'm going to sell this Mooley. He's a name, that he's the one, his, that really made Cubism more sense to it. You know, it's Picasso that had three eyes, one ear, two noses, you know, and, you know, Dora Mar and all that. Mooley said... Let's add the right color to create the depth. I'll tell you what, this is 8,700, probably closer to 10,000 now in 2022. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to give someone a deal of a lifetime. Oh, this is too cheap, Ashley. I'm going to regret this. Signed and numbered Marcel Mooley. $800 to open, $200 increments. That is the last Marcel Mooley I own on this planet. And nowhere could you get a Marcel Mooley. Hand signed, hand numbered by Marcel Mooley for $800 to open. They're ten and 12000 8 to 12 in New York. So... Signed and numbered Marcel, the late Marcel Mooley. No open on the Marcel Mooley. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to move to. All 
Okay. Let me take this down and let me put up. This is sold. All this is sold. This didn't sell. Okay. Now I'll tell you what. Let me. Yeah, I have some azule. What's behind? Oh, the horses. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what. Before I do that, and no one took the royal, huh? Nope. All right. Um, well, here's what I am going to do. I am just curious. I am curious. Curiosity killed the cat, Wilson. Did you know that? Curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought him back. All right. I'm going to take a chance. This is 7,500 on cruise ships. This is Ashley's favorite piece. So Ashley, let's see how well you do. I lack manual dexterity. There we go. So Ashley, this is your favorite piece of all the bravers. No, which one? Bring your favorite piece up here. This is Ashley's favorite Mark Braver. 7,500 on the, that's a pretty Braver. Now, yeah. and you don't have to be brave to put a Braver in your house. 2372? Two, two? Yes. This is your favorite Braver. I know you were never, because you don't think like this, but were you tempted, just tempted, if, say, a major storm hits and the power goes out and everybody's evacuating and no one can see you, would you steal this piece? Yes, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. She was tempted, Wilson. She, wow. This is 7,500 on a cruise ship. This is Ashley's favorite Mark Braver. Started zero, $250 increments. I just, I'm curious. I am curious. Because that is one of the most beautiful. He is a Park West artist. And it's custom framed. And Ashley loves this piece to the point she told everybody she was seriously contemplating stealing it. The Mark Braver, an original, not a 12 by 12, which brings 1800. No open on Ashley's favorite Mark Braver. I love this piece too. How did you know that was Chopper? 550 has been bid. How do you know that was Chopper? How much? Which is still dirt cheap. 800. 800, thank you. Kiki, how did you know that was Chomper? Either that or you're clairvoyant. We are at 800 on a $7,500 Braver. What's that? 
we're at 800. Yeah, there's 7,500 bucks on a cruise once they use Wilson's liquor formula. A thousand has been bid. We're at a thousand. This is dirt cheap. What's that? Thousand fifty. My bad. I used to be good at math. I'm still upset. In the third grade, they had a math contest. I came in second. And I should have come in first, but they had a substitute teacher. And she said because I was yelling my answers, they couldn't hear the girl uh, as well. Oh, this is cheap. A thousand fifty? There's seventy five hundred. A thousand fifty. This is dirt cheap. Going once. A thousand fifty. Going twice, uh, all in, all said, sold. Which one does he like? The one with the dog. Ashley says, here you go, chopper. Merry Christmas. No, you got to say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, but you can't just get away with that. Now you got to go, ho, ho, ho. Say what? <laughs> Where? Just joking. All right. Where is All right. This is the one with the dog. Hey, two people and a dog. Now, who was? Who are you showing this? Who 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 wants to see this one, Ashley? Chopper. All right, Chopper. Did he get the last one? No, he got outbid. All right, Chopper. Oh, I'm not gonna say that. Chop, chop, Chopper. Patty, did you hear that? She wants me to say chop, chop, chopper. All right, I'll tell you what. You want me to start this at zero? All right. Zero to open, $250 increments. That's the Mark Braver, Park West artist. Are you leaving, Kiki? You got to take care of little Barry. Yeah. All right, well, thank you and be nice to little Barry. I'm starting at zero, $250 increments. Two, three, seven, three. Last braver zero to open two hundred fifty dollar increments. Two fifty has been bid. This is most likely the last braver because I'm gonna get back to the Navarros and I'm gonna get back to the last two of my gold coins. This is a one-of-a-kind original. It's not a poster that's hand embellished. This is oil on canvas. Two hundred and fifty is the open. I only got fifty-six minutes left. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty dollars going once. Five hundred has been bid. This one comes with a compliment. 
750, a complimentary dog. You got to take care of the dog as well as they take care of little Barry. I am at 750. Folks, this is a $7,500 on the cruise ship, Mark Braver. And I am at $750. Oh, no. $750. Do what now? Take who on the boat? Chopper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll take Chopper on the boat. 750 going once. I can't believe this. 700 That's beautiful. This is $7,500 on a cruise auction. We're at 1000 now. This is so cheap. This is unbelievable. This is gorgeous. This can be the last one too. Twelve fifty. Well, that that killed your customer. Not literally, right? They said that's enough. They didn't. She's out. All in. All said. So the chopper. All right, that's gone. Why are you barking like a dog? <laughs> uh, yeah, Buford, don't get me mad. All right, where is your picture of what this looks like? Oh, does somebody want to see the last Schofield? All right. Wilson, I'm talking about this piece right here. This is the last fluorescent I will ever get under the present circumstances. Now, I'm going to move the landscape out of the way. Take a look at that. No, you were doing it good. You were doing it good. No, show that picture again, because that looks good. I actually have a picture of it somewhere here anyway. I got a picture. Folks, this is a the only fluorescent Navarro. It's 15 inches high. It glows like you won't believe. It glows green. What's that? What's that? All right. This is the only fluorescent I have. It's 19,000. This was done by the late Jean-Claude Navarro, who died on December 30th, 2014. It glows like nobody's business. I mean, it really glows. And don't we have a picture of this thing? Well, it doesn't matter. Now, Ashley, who did you talk to about this? They're not interested, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Because I'm fixing to... Make some go bye bye. Old to Mr. W. You. This is gone. Thank you. Now, I'm going to let you get it. Because of all your, uh, what was your special training? <laughs> tough mutter. You're a tough mutter. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm going to go take this break. <laughs> I told the friend of somebody that that person I'm talking to, never mind.
It's going to get me in trouble. Uh, so, yeah, this is, oh, carry the stopper. Well, yeah, I didn't want to. No, I'm choking up. All right, now, folks, I want to show you something that is so rare. Can you put up my 1914S? I am down to two coins. It is PCGS MS64 1914S, $20 St. Gaudens. You have a beautiful picture of it in there. And it's, there it is. Folks, of all the coins graded by PCGS, they have graded in Mint State 6 4 113,243 1924s. They have only graded 6,907 1914 S's. Only 6% of the population, it is only 6% of the population the most common 1924. I only have two left of this. Folks, this is a deal. This is beef tartare. This is raw meat to coin collectors because I lowered this down to $2,995. Folks, please think about getting this coin. They only meant 1,498,000. But when you look at graded coins, when you start talking about coins that are in MS64, it drops all the way down to only 6,907 have ever been graded by PCGS. Compared to 113,243 1924s and 6.4. It's only 6% of the most common year. 3800 is what they want on Coin Dealer Newsletter. I have lowered this all the way down to $2,995. I am down to my last two coins. It is a winner on steroids. And I was so lucky I fought to get these. Oh, it's beautiful. She's beautiful. And now we're going to go back to the obverse, the front of the coin. Look at this. You can see the little S there on the obverse. 1914 S. I'm sort of happy because I wanted to keep one for myself. But 32 years ago, a coin dealer named Bob Hallam in Stockton, California, told me never compete with your customers. And I never have since he told me that. And to get a 1914S under $3,000, when the big sites are getting 3800 for it. Oh, very rare. So I want to thank you for letting me show you this. Now, I don't abuse me like my mother did. 
on this next one. Signed by Jean-Claude Navarro. Look at that. It was done in 2005. This is a landscape with gold. My mom did abuse me. I said to her all the time, I'm not making this up, Wilson. Look at this. And what's the item number on the landscape? It's the only other. And lift the camera up a little. Three, six, five. Two, three, six, five. I said, Mom, can I play with, can I have my friends over? She said, Barry, you don't have any friends and don't call me Mom. She said that to me. That was devastating. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. This is 5,500, six grand. Gold in glass. First ever Jean-Claude Navarro. Just like he said with the, land, with the fluorescence. They've been making glass for 5,000 years. I'm the first one to make it glow. In this case, he's the first one to put gold in glass. Tell you what. Don't abuse me too badly. Start at zero, $250 increments. I'm the last Navarro I have. On a mouth blown, hand spun, hand signed, John, we have 250, thank you. No, no, what, what did I say? What, what did I have the increments on the screen at? 250. 250, yeah, so we have 250. $150. No, that's not how you say it, Pat. 500, Patty. You got to say 250. Yeah, like Wilson. You saw Wilson bartering for drugs the other day, Ashley. And he said, The most I'm going to give you, 750. A thousand. You heard what Wilson said. The most I'm going to pay you for that crack is 250 Yeah, and he said it forcefully. I'm at a thousand looking for 1250 A thousand dollars going once. A thousand dollars going twice. Who's got the bid? We're at a thousand. We're at a thousand right now. Yeah, we're at a thousand, not twelve fifty. Yeah, there we go. We're at a thousand. Who's going to make it twelve fifty? A thousand going once. A thousand going twice. Fair and final warning. All said, sold. Okay. This is, yeah, we got to pack that right. Okay. This. Is the last Michael Schofield traditional landscape I have on this planet. 
He is not selling me anymore. He has retired from traditional painting. And I forgot the number. You looked it up, but we never wrote it down on the painting. On the Schofield. This is what Michael wrote on the back. And what is the atom number on the Schofield? He signed it on the back. He, I think he says this is in Franklin County, Tennessee. One of his favorite memories of a creek in Franklin. A favorite memory of mine. All right, folks, this is it. I have sold his work for 25000 I have sold his work for a lot more. Start at zero, Patty. This is the last Michael Schofield landscape I have on this planet. And he swore, he made me record it, that he is not coming back. He is retired from landscape. Start at zero. $250 increments. This is a $10,000 painting. Let's see what you guys say. Because this is the last Schofield. That would make the great western roundup of the last Schofield. Starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. All right. He gets 25, 30,000 for these. I am at zero right now. That is the last traditional Schofield I will ever get from him. He quit. Well, he retired. He's 74. So let me hand you this, Ashley. Be careful with it. Here, catch. No. <laughs> I am at zero. That is gorgeous. Look at the reflections. Michael Schofield. This is the last Michael Schofield I have on this planet. Right here. No open once. Oh, boy. Signed right here on the front and signed on the back. Zero on a Michael Schofield going twice. Hubs Historical Hangout Showroom. No open on a Michael Schofield. The last one too, which is telling me Ashley I should take this down and run like a, yeah. Okay, this auction is going to be over. I don't want anybody calling up, yelling at me. What's that? Someone just bid 260. 260. I didn't take it down quick enough. We're at 260, so the next bid, we're at 260 right now. So the next bid would be 510. And if you didn't get one of those 1914 S's in 64 for me, I'm down to one. So you might want to call in. 510 has been bid. We used to open his work for 3500 and then go a lot higher. Not talking to you, Wilson. I'm picking on Wilson's drug use. We are at 510. Oh, this is going to be a tragedy. Could be a Roman or a Greek tragedy. It could become a Wilsonian tragedy. 
so much potential. 510 on a 3500 low end Schofield. They're going for 20 grand. 510 going once. Anybody else? Who are you bidding for, Ashley? Mr. B. Mr. B. This is Michael Schofield. He's in the billion dollar Arm and Hammer collection. 510. Going twice. Oh boy, 510, once, twice, fair, and final warning, all in, all said, sold, that's done, Ashley, that's yours. Well, not yours, your customers. All right. That is gone. Uh, Ashley, your, your bidder got it. I lost a whopper on that one. Here's what I am going to put up right now. Number two of six, H.C., friend of the artist. He did this at a gallery showing. He, he did a grand total of only six. That was a serigraph, but he took six of them, put H.C., host of commerce, friend of the artist, and that is pastel right there. The piece is not damaged. HC number two of six. It was a silk screen. Then he, using chalk, completely hand embellished the background, the face, the nose. It had a $4,500 price on one of the six. No, for the panel edition. Sold out rare, so this would be 4500 for the panel edition. Then they probably added three or four thousand for the embellished one, so it's probably eight or ten grand. This is item number BC2350. On this piece, yes, I do. I know the year on this piece. It was done in 2003. Its name is La Jolla. Now that is the hand pulled edition, but this one, he only did six where he took six, eight, uh, six La Jollas and completely hand embellished it and signed them one of six, two of six, three of six, four of six, five of six, and six of six. The HC means friend of the artist. Um, that was also done in what year? 2003. Oh, the year I graduated. That's the year you graduated? Yes, sir. Junior high? high school. Okay, just checking. Just checking. Technically, I never graduated from a high school. No, I was so bad. Uh, my parents were fighting all the time in Indiana. I moved with my dad to the Bahamas. They were on the A level and O level, and I couldn't get into a British school. So I, my dad got me tutors 
And when I was 16, uh, I flew to Tampa and took a G GED and scored very high. And they offered me a scholarship at University of South Florida. I started there when I was 17, too young, dropped out. And when I was 18, I was on a road trip with my dad. He said, we're gonna find you a college. And he didn't plan it, but about four miles later, it said South Georgia College next exit, and I started there. Stayed there for five quarters till a girl named Jan Gunn drove me crazy. And I took out a map at the library in Douglas, Georgia, and found the farthest place away from Jan Gunn in the continental United States that was still on the quarter system. And that happened to be Southern Oregon State College at Ashland. I called them up, they said, hey, if you can get here in a week, you can come. And I drove across country, got there, got my four-year degree from Southern Oregon State College, started my master's at North Texas State in Denton, Texas, finished it off at the University of Nevada, Reno. All in economics. You got a $8,500 Royal. Folks, that is only six that he hand embellished like this. Yeah, this is ten grand. Are you eating my pizza? The last slice. The last slice. I didn't eat pizza tonight. I eat veggie burgers. All right, folks. That is a friend of the artist by Jose Royo, master Spanish painter, and started zero, $250 increments. You got a $10,000 Royo here. All of the pastel. He took a silk screen at a show and said six, we have the open for 250. He said six of my customers are gonna get one and I'm gonna do it here right now at the show. And you're talking about Jose Royo. His originals sell for a half a million dollars. I got escorted out of a gallery in 2005 for trying to take a picture of what they wanted for an original. The guy was 6'5", Wilson. Yeah. And at the time, I was on Vegas Cable. Even though 525 has been bid. Folks, this is a $10,000. Let me show you why this is so rare. Right here, you have H... C. That means host de commerce, friend of the artist. And this is two of only six done, signed, numbered in black, signed in black, and all of this is pastel. Every inch of it. It's like having an original Royo, which is a half a million dollars. I mean, he only did this for six people, and I am at, where am I at? You're at 525. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Ashley. to one bidder at $525. Now I could be like Steve Martin in The Jerk. All I need is my nicotine gum, my Diet Mountain Dew, and my La Jolla by Royo, which is only six done to this degree. Or I could be a nice guy because it's Christmas time. Going once to Randy at $525. Going twice to Randy. Randy 
Well, no, I haven't said, I haven't said the S word on TV yet. All in, all said, sold to Randy. You got a deal of a lifetime. Okay, now, and I thank everybody. Now, Ashley, I want to talk about this guy right here. <laughs> Can you put my Peter Max up? Let's see. That's a good one. Yes. I like there's a bad one. This is a picture taken of Peter Max probably 15 years ago in his showroom in New York. That's a Baldwin piano he painted. He also painted a cruise ship. He also painted an airline, an airplane. And in the background are all of his different editions. And you had to, to get in his high limit room, you had to be the type of person who was going to spend a half a million dollars with him over a year or two. Peter Max is the reason the Statue of Liberty got reopened. He called Lee Iacocca, and together they raised over $300 million. Now, here is the airplane Peter Max painted, painted right there. A Continental Airline 777 Superjet. Here, is my favorite piece, but I sold it, Wilson. I don't compete with collectors. Look at that, Angel with Heart, 2002. Retail price, 80,000. Asking price, 61,300. It is a hand embellished piece like this Statue of Liberty. Here is an original. I had two originals and I sold them. I wish I had kept them. Look at this. This is 2012, 10 years ago. Neon Man Blue. Asking price 62500 Here is a sad sto well, a story about Peter Max's getting free, trying to get his daughter Libra in charge of him. And what do you call that again, Patty? Conservership? Yeah, because... His agent, people were taking advantage of him. He's 84 now. This, oh man, on a cruise, you're going to pay 30 grand, 35. It's stunning. It's a unique original by Peter Max. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give someone a deal of a lifetime, I can't, I, I'll tell you what, BC2317, all right, folks, I have just written a number down on this, not to open an auction, but to own it. Ashley, this is too cheap. Camera two, I have written, written down right here. 
I have it written down right here. Ashley, if nobody calls and buys it at this price, you are instructed. You are instructed to crumple this up and eat it. Can't just throw it away. It's so cheap, you got to eat it. Paper is not that. Watch. I eat paper all the time. <laughs> now. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that is cheap. Is it this one or is it this one? That one. This one? Yeah. If they call, you can. Hey, that's actually pretty good. You can sell it to them. Did you eat it? No, it's a little chewy. Yeah, it's better than my cookie. Your cookie, the cookie was a lot better. <laughs> Show everybody the price. <laughs> I'm a what? Who did you just call a pervert? Myself. You're a pervert. Well, <laughs> Ashley, there's perverts and there's perverts. This is true. Well, what is she, Patty? No, but I'm talking to myself. Oh, what are are you a pervert? Oh, yeah. Oh, you eat a different type of cookie. <laughs> no, 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 no. When I was 17, I smoked half a joint. No, I was 17. And somebody had put some angel dust in it. I freaked out, went to the hospital, never touched it ever, ever, ever again. And I, I don't want to get people mad, but I think... Uh, uh, I, I, I worry about kids in their 15 and 16 smoking a lot of dope. My brother did. When my parents would fight, he would lock himself in his room and smoke dope. I think it had an effect on him. So, no, I, uh, I don't take any kind of dope. The only kind I would ever really get crazy about, and I haven't. I haven't seen any in 30 years. Uh, a bottle of strawberry flavored opium. That was good stuff, Wilson. You had to travel all the way to Thailand to get your opium? I just went in an emergency room when I was 15 with a pain when a hurricane was coming and the doctor handed me a bottle of it. No, I, I drugs are bad. They really are. And apparently giving yourself a shot of 10 milligrams of metal. Medrol four times will get you in trouble with your doctor. Folks, I have just given Ashley a price that is so cheap. You call. Did she show you the price, Patty? No, I didn't show it. She didn't want to show it, but she's like, when am I going to pull it for that? She didn't want to show it to you? Mr. Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays to you, too, Mr. S. Now, Patty, did she not want to show it to you? Be it's not, it's too or, oh, I thought it because she thought you were a pervert. <laughs> no, I, I have put a price so cheap on this $30,000 Peter Max that was on the Pacific Sovereign ship in 2003. And just put call for off-air price. It's too cheap. I only got 14 minutes left. And Ashley. 
actually using all of the knowledge at your command. Pick out your favorite abstract Michael Schofield. Now I need you to think about this. I need you to ponder perfection. But let me see that one. That's one. one. I want you to pick your favorite. No one called for my top secret price. I've lost everybody. Okay. I thought it was sold. No, it's still available. Oh, let's put this up. This is an abstract Michael Schofield. He's getting a ton for these. He really is. And he says that when he dies, <coughs> if he gets enough time to live before he dies, his abstracts are going to be worth more than his traditional landscapes, which are already worth a fortune. This right here is absolutely beautiful. And because it's an abstract, you could also hang it this way. BC 2409. Any interest in abstract Schofields? I'm going to give you two choices. This one and that large one you picked. Ashley, can you put that up too? Yeah. And then I'm going to spend the last five or six minutes. First of all, I wish everybody... Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Festivus. Two, four, one, one. Feliz Navidad. No, f <laughs> you don't know what Festivus is? No, Wilson. Explain it to me. Explain it to me. Do you have a Festivus pole here? Yes, sir. Oh, you got a Festivus pole? All right, we're going to have to have Patty. She We'll explain it to you later. This is a huge Michael Schofield abstract. I will make people deals on this that I think you'll find rather amazing. So if you like either of those two abstract Michael Schofields, please give me a call. But for the last seven or eight minutes, I am going to put up my 1914S MS64 PCGS coin. Take a look at this in the monitor. Well, once we get it back up, because I am down to the last two. Oh, I love PCGS when they grade saints. And PCGS, I mean, you're talking about a 1914S, uh, has a minage that is just 17% of the 1928. They only minted 1.498 million. And of those, only 6,907 have ever gotten a grade of MS64. They're more common in 62 and 61. 
Today, N, uh, PCGS has graded 113,243 1924s and only 6,907 1914s. I lowered this to be a Christmas special. I started with five. I'm down to two, maybe one. And I lowered the price all the way down to $2,995. It is not hard to find people that want $3,800. There's a slew of people at $3,200, but they are not, uh, they're NGC, where I like with gold PCGS. And so I only have two left. That is a coin, a must-own coin, if you're collecting $20 saints. And the St. Gaudens have done very well with the uh, inflation. Uh, they've, they've, woo. And folks, ain't, they ain't seen nothing yet. The way they calculate the inflation rate today, oh. I think the worst is yet to come. That's just my opinion. Look at that. 1914S. Graded Mint State 6-4. I only have two left, and it might be just one. I got eight minutes left. What are you doing for Christmas, Patty? Hopefully I'll take off my Christian, my younger son, and uh, go to Morongo. <laughs> You're going to a casino on Christmas. Isn't that a plot of a couple movies where they rob it at Christmas? All right. What do you play at Morongo? You just drive there and you're going to loiter through the casino. Not gamble, but hopefully find some chips. <laughs> well, folks, I want to, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's show. I still have Morgan dollars, $99 each, graded MS63. I want to thank you. I have all kinds of cool stuff coming next week. Let me, uh, let me go to camera two. In Turkey, right now, in Istanbul, Turkey, Wilson, 10 of my original Sasha Basaris have been sitting in a shipping warehouse in, in, in Istanbul, Turkey. We don't know why. It's, they were cleared to leave, but no one seems to want to put them on an airplane. And so as soon as those come on, these are some of the nicest Sasha Basaris I have ever seen. I have that coming up. Um, also have some really cool other gold coins. Uh, smaller size gold, tenth of an ounce, uh, eight, uh, twentieth of an ounce coming up. But call me, I will work you a deal. Patty, you got a customer online? Yeah. So just let me know. And I still can't believe I'm going to keep those two, Wilson. Because I gave everybody a fair chance. I am going to keep those last two 1914 S's. Well, and Ashley is the one that if anybody got really upset about it tonight, she broke the news that Arnold the pig belonging to Mr. and Mrs. Ziffel on Green Acres doesn't really talk. 
Smoke and mirrors, Wilson. Did you, when you were a little kid, did you know he could talk? Or did you think he couldn't? I never watched that. Yeah. You never watched the show, Green Acres, that took place in a town called Hooterville. Okay. Near the Shady Rest Hotel in Hooterville. Well, the pig doesn't really talk, is what they're telling me. So anyway, folks, give me a call. If you want this large Schofield, call me. How many minutes do I have left? Four, three? Wow. Okay, thank you for, you know, now he's a Bitcoin collector and just wanted to call. Oh, what's his name? His name is Joe. Well, Joe, you're more than welcome. And I'm glad you got through that. Oh, thank you, Joe. I appreciate the comment. Did, she, did he get a 1914S? All right, well, give that a thought, Joe, because that's a great coin. But I am so glad that that worked out. Uh, maybe you can give Ashley some inspiration. I'm choking. She's getting mad at me. I told her, just like Allie McGraw and Love Story, she might have leukemia because her nose keeps bleeding. No, you don't have leukemia. You haven't been tested. A simple test. You should test your blood. Really you? No, I can't. You got to go to the doctor. And I would test it for all kinds of things while you're there, Ashley. Thanks, Barry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would get my white cell count. Two minutes. And, uh, yeah. Do you know what Al Capone died of, Wilson? What do you die of? Syphilis. Oh, great. <laughs> Social disease. <laughs> Did Al Capone's nose bleed a lot at the end? <laughs> Ashley, I am pretty sure you don't have syphilis. It's a damn leukemia. <laughs> I'm joking. You're fine. You know, you can get a blood test real cheap. <laughs> well, folks, I hope you've had fun. And I will be back next week. Hopefully, my Sasha Basaris will be freed from in Istanbul, Turkey. Wilson, they're basically in a Turkish prison. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What movie was that where they were stuck in a Turkish prison? Do you know? What? Ah, his first war, a big role for somebody in that. But hey, folks, we love you. Uh, Ashley ships your coins real fast. We get the paintings out fast, and I thank all of you. Got a big show next week, but most importantly, have a happy Christmas. Drive safe. Be careful, and I will see you next Tuesday night, the twenty eighth. Hopefully with some Sasha Basaris. We might have to send Wilson to Istanbul. They'll put you in prison there, Wilson. Hey, we love you. Don't kick that dog, Buford. Do not kick the dog, Buford. We love you. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't kick that dog, Buford.